Hello everybody and welcome to the LC News. I'm your host Carter. I'm your host Amy. And today we are joined by the um, South Belfast MLA NLO. Thank you for coming to Lagging College today and letting us interview you. Delighted to be here. You know I'm very supportive of the school. Thank you. One of the first questions is, you came to the UK in the 70s. Um, was it a big change and how did it affect your life? I went to London in 1974. There was fine in London, but coming to Northern Ireland was quite a shock. Uh, going on the streets, still seeing uh, armoured vehicles, mm. soldiers holding machine guns and all that. Also a culture shock to me as well. Uh, I'm, I'm very interested in the arts and then suddenly realised that there were no cinemas, no theatres, yeah. no restaurants in Northern Ireland because all the restaurants have been kind of closed or bombed out. And, so uh, it was a bit of a culture desert to me and it was difficult to, to then try to find my way around. And, uh, but I love the people here, that's why I've stayed. All right, thank you. Um, you've been a part of the Alliance Party for quite some time. Um, How is it being and what do you plan for the future? Well, the, the, the Alliance Party is really the only party I can join in Northern Ireland. Um, you know, I, I came here, I suppose, as an outsider with no axe to grind for one side or the other in the Alliance Party, being a cross-community party, wanting to bring people together, and that's my principle. Um, so Alliance has been a great party. It's a small party, very friendly people, very committed people. So uh, I'm delighted to be in the party. What's the future for me? I have declared that I am not going to stand again in 2016. And I want to write a book. A few months ago, racial threats have been increasing in Belfast, and you were a victim of these threats. Is there anything you would like to say to the people that have been threatened <clears throat> because of their ethnicity? I would say to them, uh, the vast majority of people in Northern Ireland are good people, are decent people who are welcoming, and it is only a very small minority of people and we need to stand up to those thugs who just want to cause harm and intimidate new people coming into Northern Ireland. Alright, thank you. What would you say to the people that are making these threats? I'd tell them to stop because they don't represent people of Northern Ireland. They're giving us a bad name and it is not fair. People coming here wanting to have a better life and then you know we, we need to to be more culturally diverse and we need to be more acceptance more accepting of new new people coming in who bring the, the, the skills and new ideas and give us that cultural diversity which is great for people in Northern Ireland what do you see for the future of Northern Ireland I want to see a modern progressive society for Northern Ireland where everyone is accepted and valued. And I don't want to see young people leaving Northern Ireland in big numbers because they're fed up with politics, they're fed up with sectarianism, they're fed up with the division in Northern Ireland. All right, well, thank you for letting us interview you today and uh, we'll see you all later, bye.